Um, good morning, Jeremiah. All right, better get up. Get this day started. Shalom. Good morning, Noah. Good morning. Okay, so your new dresser is it came in, but we gotta go to the front desk and pick them up. But for now, I need somebody to come find y'all toothbrushes. Mind you guys, they just came from my mom's house for two and a half weeks. So now we have to unpack them and get them back organized in their room. First thing first, we gotta find some toothbrushes. Shalom Judah. Shalom Judah. Hello. How are you? Good? Good. Okay, here are your milk. Here your almond milk. Love you. Make you some oatmeal, okay? So I got the oatmeal going for the ones that like oatmeal. We're gonna start and on my tea for the morning. And then I might drink a little coffee because I'm extremely tired. And I gotta do what I gotta do to make it through. And then I gotta find something different for Peyton because uh, she hates oatmeal. So I may do her some eggs and I don't know, we'll figure it out. So I got my little helper, Noah, holding baby Tora for me. She wanted a little extra attention. And I'm gonna whip up some eggs and some toast and fruit. They're gonna eat, get dressed, wash their face, brush their teeth, oil their face. I don't like no dusty kids, right? Yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna so get what going. I'm gonna do now is I take my little shot glass, put a little water in it. I first take my after ease. It helps with uh, pain that I still have. And then I'm take my baby blues. It helps me not to cry all the time because my hormones are off and I get sad real fast. So we're gonna take those two. We got my tea steeping. I'm gonna start on the eggs and the toast so they can be eating while I'll get dressed. Here you go, buddy. Love you. Yeah. Look at me. Yeah. Thumbs up. Boom. Enjoy your food. Peyton, when you get done, go get dressed, okay? Yeah. Tell everybody shalom, good morning. She woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I mean, but we gonna get through it. We gonna get through it. All right. All right, so we are quickly taking out dinner. We still have a little, hold on. Babe, can you hold this? Hold this. I'm trying to take out. So we're gonna do spaghetti. And we're gonna do the last of the meatloaf. Chicken meatloaf that is absolutely fantastic. And I think we got some macaroni and cheese left. Being that the children don't really eat a lot of meat, we're gonna check out this macaroni. And this is what we're gonna probably eat for dinner for the next two days. And that's some dirty chicken that's left. So, Leslie, we still have postpartum prep food right, um, left. So we're taking out dinner. Good morning, y'all. How y'all doing? It's a beautiful day. Um, we got a lot of stuff to do today. And uh, baby's finishing the dishes over there. And I got to go get Judah dressed. Mm -hmm. Judah, you ready? Uh -huh. Yeah, he ready. He is so ready. He but um, got to go dump the gray tank. Uh, we had it closed when it was gone. And got to help get everybody ready to go to where we're going. Tora has a doctor's, doctor's appointment this morning. Yeah, you don't even know where we're going. Just right, it. right. We're just going. Just wake up and get, get at it. Just get at it. That's, all, that's my whole job. Get done. Right. <laughs> I just know I'm on the list. You on the list. That's it. Hey, don't mind me. I look a hot mess. I just woke up. It was a long night. It was a long weekend. Did a lot. Got a lot of stuff done. Um, still got a lot more stuff to do. So. We'll see and like the reality that. is, I need, I be needing help. So by any means necessary. So I just nursed her. I need to finish getting dressed. We can head out. But we're going to let Pei Pei burp her while I finish Peyton's hair. Oh, FYI, don't beat yourself up if you don't get to making your bed up that day. Uh-oh, be gentle. Be gentle. Be gentle. All right, guys. So what I was going to say is don't beat yourself up if you don't get to making your bed up. I love making my bed up every morning. But to save my mental stability, and I'm still healing, we're going to let the bed lay. We're going to get out of here. And remember, Mama, be gentle with yourself. It took nine months to make a baby. It's going to take a couple months for you to heal. All right, let's get out the door. All right, everybody, let's go. You ready? Who hey, remembers? Me. Me. I am a Hebrew. I am a Hebrew. Good job. A child of the most high Yahuwah. 
I will. I will be. No, no, no. I will show love. And I will be a light. I will be gentle with my parents. And I will be kind to my siblings. I will work towards the kingdom. And let the glory of Yahuwah stay on my lips. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, let's go. Get out. Get out. All right, say all done. Head it out. Good job, baby Tora. Uh -huh. Push it open. Come on. Where's your muscles, Peyton? Open wide. All right. Head it out to finish tackling the day. So tackling the day. Tackling the day. Tackling the day. Tackling the day. Right. So Tora, stop this apartment with Will. Baby Daddy to pick us back up. We're gonna keep tackling the day. Yep. So uh, now we're headed to the UPS. We gotta go to the post office. We got a grocery pickup at 10. We gotta go to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> this seems like a bit much. Um, oh, I like that car. It's nice. It's grand wagon there. I like that. Um, what else? It was something else we're supposed to be doing, but I forgot. All right, just keep tagging along because we're taking you guys along with us as we go through our day. All right, see you guys in the next clip. <sighs> That's too far up for you, man. Hey, don't take him that far up no more. Stay with the red one, okay? Okay. All right. Wait, look, they're going to know it, Judah. Look, see Noah and Jay? They're coming. Go tell them, come on. Peyton, watch your brother, please. Hey, Noah. their new dresser and all the packages we're gonna run the at home break we're putting the groceries up and then we are getting snacks we're gonna have to have a late lunch because we gotta head back out to jeremiah's meeting normally i would just Daddy for making shout out to daddy for making a quick lunch because we gotta go back to the jujitsu place. Um, but these baked beans are awesome. It's baked beans with beef brisket, and we got it from Sam's, and the ingredients are not too bad. And we got chicken corn dogs. That works for me, I ain't complaining. So we had a good meeting at um Jeremiah's, I think it's karate, right? Karate. Yeah, he says karate. Uh, so it's not jujitsu, it's karate. And hopefully he can start next week. Um, it seems like it's gonna be great for him. I'm excited for him. Um, but we're back home. J Judah and Noah are finishing their corn dogs and it is time for quiet time, which means you ain't gotta go to sleep. Judah did, but you cannot talk to me. See ya when we Dad get up. gone to work and we're taking a little time to just color a little bit. Take it slow. Go slow into the evening before we start cleaning up this kitchen and hopefully clean out the van. Somebody just lost another tooth. And it fell out on its own. On like its so. own. It fell out on its own. Okay, let me see. Smile. Yeah, baby. I was just wiggling it and then it fell straight out. 
Yeah. You're big girl, huh? And it didn't even hurt. Because you're so strong. No, it didn't hurt. Not what? Not what? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, guys. So it is about 5.30 in the evening. I'm going to clean up this kitchen, living room area, kind of make it make sense to me. We have our pre-prepped -prep meals that my mom prepared for my postpartum out in defrosting so that we can come back. Maybe make some roasted broccoli and make a salad so the salad can be ready for lunch tomorrow. Um, my new thing is if I'm in the kitchen, I need to be making more than one thing to make it easier for my next step, whether it's the next meal time or the next day. We're going to go outside and get some peppers off of our uh, pepper garden thing, right? And Peyton got a new tooth that fell out. Oh, your earring came out? No, I took it out because I'm ready to take them out. I'm wearing your blue gloves. Anyway, uh, Judy's going to get a whooping because he's trying to wake up Tora. Don't don't do that. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna clean this up um, and just try to make some get some organization going, and then we're gonna try to go maybe either straighten out the van or clean the front yard. Not both, but either or. And then we're gonna go for our walk around the RV park. Come in, eat dinner, and shut it down. So yeah. Now I don't know if we'll watch a movie tonight. All right, guys. Right, Jay, so I want you to take, clean up, make this neat. Clean, clean up the front and sweep it all out. Okay. Yes, okay. All right, Judah. Finish mopping for me. Got this big old bag of broccoli here. Um, no, I put her past in her mouth. So we're gonna clean it, put some oil on it, season it, and we're gonna cook all of this broccoli, and then we're gonna freeze half of it. That way, it may be soggy later. But it'll be some vegetables that's already cooked that we can just warm up. When we we are headed out for our evening walk. The broccoli is done and ready for when we get back. Everybody got an item to take with them on the walk. We're letting her get a little air. Got the shoulders out. Um, so yeah. So, oh, Judah, you okay? Come on, get up. All right. Look at her. You better not be cross at it. Fix some eyes, girl. All right, let's go uphill. Around this time of the day, you see a lot of people out. Ooh, I love that semi RV. Sweet. You see a lot of people out. Hey, Jeremiah, let's not do that again, okay? All right. Hold on, Peyton. I'm talking to the people on the internet. Um, there's a lot of people walking in the evenings because it's finally cool and. That's kind of when everybody start walking around and mingling, meet each other and say hi and how was your day and what you're drinking on, you know. So yeah, feels nice, nice and cool out today. Hey guys, let's let's take let's take note now. It is six, almost seven o'clock, and I am surviving. I'm surviving. Okay. All right. I just want to put that out there. So we have broccoli and million dollar spaghetti for the children and jeremiah and peyton want a macaroni and broccoli so that's what they have and i'm gonna have meatloaf spaghetti and broccoli good judo i want a meatloaf too you want some meatloaf for so for dinner we're rocking with my mom's postpartum prep meatloaf we pulled out of the freezer i just roasted that broccoli and we have million dollar spaghetti so this is pretty good to me being that i didn't make anything but the broccoli yes all right family nice. so they have eaten and they are ready for bed they got their pajamas on jeremiah is holding tour for me lifesaver okay i am finishing up the dishes um cleaning up this table and i have to sweep and mop the kitchen um, I have a little more broccoli still cooking here in the air fryer so that it can cool and I can put it in the freezer. But we ate what we was going to eat for the week. We're going to move on to salad tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm shutting it down. No, J J Judah, get out of her face. Come and get your boy. Come and get your boy, baby Judah. Um, 
But before we go to bed, they're going to share something with you that we're trying to say every day and instill in our hearts. So we're going to let them say it. And then we're going to put them to bed. I'm going to finish the kitchen. And then I'm going to edit this video so I can upload it for you guys. All right. All right. So we're going to say our nighttime and our morning affirmations. You ready? Mm -hmm. I am a Hebrew. I am a Hebrew. A child of the Most High Yah. I will show love. I will show love. And I will be alive. I will be gentle with my parents. I will be gentle with my parents. And kind to my siblings. And kind to my siblings. I will work towards the kingdom. I will work towards the kingdom. And keep the glory of Yah on my lips. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, right, I'm going to take my vitamins real quick since I did not take them this morning. I am going to take more after ease because uh, your girl did a reel today and I'm a little sore. And we're going to take a little more baby blues just to keep my hormones at bay. It's good, but it's definitely taking. So now we have the children's cups and the towels soaking in white vinegar and water and a little soap. We're going to leave that there overnight. We are done. Here. Shout out to Princess Peyton for holding tour while I finished cleaning and mopping and all that good stuff. So now mommy can get ready for bed. Thank yeah. you, Peyton. Yeah. So at first I was going to like stay up and um, do a little more planning for our trip in the winter and write out bills and all of that. But you know what? I should go to bed. That stuff can wait until tomorrow. So once she closes her eyes, I'll be closing mine. So I'm ending this vlog. Thank you guys for watching another Butler's Unbox video. And hopefully I can keep this up and vlog again tomorrow. All right, guys. Shalom. Thank you.